Having respect for the moana was something that I was taught from a very young age. Respect is taught, you know, it's what's passed down to us from, from our elders. You know, my father would always tell me that I was a kaitiaki and that my role in this world um, was to, you know, protect the taiao and to know too what our connection and our whakapapa to the environment was. I learned respect for the ocean from my brothers. Obviously, when you're learning how to surf, you've got to respect it. It's dangerous. Where did I learn respect for the ocean? Well, having been in a few situations where it's very, very rough, and if I don't do the right things, I'm going to die. Respect uh, for me looks like protecting the Modi of our moana. Having gratitude as well for what the ocean provides for us. Like always saying thank you. If we're going to harvest kai, then we must give back to the protection of our moana. If we don't respect the ocean, we're not respecting ourselves. We're becoming quite unconscious. That respect is somewhat lacking or has been lost. Things I'm concerned about, where do I start? <laughs> I am concerned that there are only a few of us who are actively working towards the protection of our moana and our waterways. The people who give it to us, you can count them on your left hand, or countries. I'm concerned that people will keep abusing the ocean for greed, for power and for money. I've heard about some pretty crazy stuff coming up about people wanting to mine deep, deep sea floors and it's just crazy. Yeah, that's a strong no from me. We just don't need to go there, you know, we need to learn from our mistakes. I've also seen vast areas of dead coral that was once there in spots that I've dived before that's not there anymore. Fishing on those deep water mounts uh, in the deep ocean we can't see the damage but here you know, around our coast we can see what those trawlers are doing. It's really disheartening to see that the quality of our moana is continuing to be diminished. I'm super bummed on that. I'm concerned that as Kiwis, we're not going to be known as hunter-gatherers anymore. You know, when I travel the world, everyone's like, oh, you're a Kiwi, you're a hunter, you're a gatherer, and you get all this kai from the sea. I'm concerned that one day we're not going to be able to go out there and get that kai because there'll be no kai there. In England, the, all the trawlers are all parked up. And there's nothing to go and catch. Protection for the oceans means to me being kaitiaki for the ocean, talking for the ocean, standing up for the ocean, doing the mahi for the ocean. There's not a great deal you can do about looking after the ocean without the cooperation of the, the major people who are, who are using it. I think Aotearoa can work towards having better uh, protection for our moana. I think we're not moving as fast as we need to. I think we just need to keep pushing the governments and people who make these big decisions. My challenge to the government is take heed of the call of our kaitiaki who are working towards the protection of our moana and having greater regulations in place for the protection of our moana. Everyone just needs to stand up about that, keep talking about it and just keep, keep pushing forward with that message. The modi of our moana can actually in fact be restored. All it takes is the will of our people. I know that Aotearoa, that when we get together we can achieve all this goodness for our ocean so that it's here for future generations.